Welcome to today's episode. We're diving into an exciting topic that's changing the world of anesthesia, non-intubated deep paralysis or NIDP. Imagine undergoing surgery without the need for that uncomfortable breathing tube in your throat. Sounds amazing, right? Well, let's explore how NIDP makes that possible and why it's such a game changer in certain surgeries. So, what exactly is NIDP? In simple terms, non-intubated deep paralysis is an advanced anesthesia technique that allows patients to undergo surgery with deep muscle relaxation but without the need for tracheal intubation. The idea is to keep the patient relaxed and pain-free while avoiding some of the issues that come with traditional anesthesia, like a sore throat or airway trauma. This technique has been around in various forms, but it's recently gained popularity, especially in surgeries like vocal cord polypectomy, where a tube in your throat can actually get in the way. Let's get started with indications. 1. Vocal cord polypectomy. Imagine this, you're a singer or a teacher who has developed a polyp on your vocal cords. Traditional anesthesia might involve a tube being inserted into your windpipe, which can sometimes make things tricky for your surgeon. But with NIDP, it's different. This technique offers a clear and unobstructed view of the vocal cords without the need for that tube. That means the surgeon can work more effectively, and the procedure itself is smoother. Plus, you avoid the discomfort and potential complications that come with intubation. It's a win-win. 2. Bronchoscopy Procedures Next up, let's talk about bronchoscopy. If a patient needs a bronchoscopy, whether for diagnostic reasons or to treat certain conditions, NIDP can be a game-changer. Typically, these procedures need the patient to stay very still with minimal movement. Deep paralysis helps achieve that. But here's the best part, with NIDP, we avoid the need for a breathing tube. Instead, the airway remains free, making it easier for the doctor to navigate and complete the procedure efficiently. It's a great alternative for cases where intubation might be too much or unnecessary. 3. Minor Head and Neck Surgeries Lastly, let's discuss minor head and neck surgeries. Think of procedures that are quick but need the patient to stay completely relaxed. These surgeries don't always need traditional intubation, but deep muscle relaxation is crucial for the best results. That's where NIDP steps in beautifully. It provides the necessary muscle relaxation without the invasiveness of a tube down the throat, making the procedure safer, faster, and often much more comfortable for the patient. NIDP is a multi-step process, and it starts before you even enter the operating room. Pre-anesthetic phase, doctors assess if you're a good candidate. You'll be connected to a high-flow nasal oxygen HFNO, device, which will help you breathe comfortably during the surgery. Induction phase, you'll receive anesthesia, usually with medications like propofol and remifentanil. Then, a muscle relaxant like rocuronium is given to keep you completely still. Maintenance phase, while the surgeon works, your vital signs and blood gas levels are continuously monitored to keep everything in check. Recovery phase, once the surgery is over, medications like Sugamadex help reverse the muscle relaxation, and you'll be monitored closely until you're wide awake and breathing well on your own. Now, let's talk about why NIDP is such a big deal. No tube, no problem, you avoid that uncomfortable breathing tube, reducing the risk of a sore throat, vocal cord injuries, or even dental damage. Faster recovery, without intubation, patients wake up faster and feel more alert. That means you can go home sooner. Better overall experience, Patients often report feeling more comfortable, and surgeons get a clearer view, especially for vocal cord surgeries. But hey, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. NIDP has its downsides too, time limits, it's really only suited for surgeries lasting less than 15 minutes. Any longer, and the risks of breathing problems go up. 
Strict patient selection, if you have a high BMI, respiratory issues, or need more extensive airway manipulation, NIDP isn't for you. Monitoring is key, NIDP requires advanced monitoring equipment and skilled professionals. If things go wrong, an emergency plan needs to be ready to convert to traditional intubation. According to a recent study by Hu et al. in Perioperative Medicine, 2023, NIDP has been proven safe and effective for vocal cord surgeries. With advancing technology, NIDP may soon be applicable to more complex procedures. So, there you have it, non-intubated deep paralysis, a technique making surgeries safer and more comfortable. For more insights, like, share, and subscribe, and visit optimalanesthesia.com for evidence-based anesthesia information.